Alright guys, so in today's video, we're going to take something like this and turn it into something completely opposite than what it was intended for. So, it's not going to be aquatic, but... This right here is a top fin underwater world, so it's actually a three tier beta system. Alright guys, so first off, I think these are okay. I'm not even going to dive into the aquarium aspect of this. We have a special deal with this little dude right here, and we're going to turn it into an enclosure for something that's terrestrial and not aquatic. Hmm. It floats on water, it can go underwater, but there is a type of can. Alright guys, so this was definitely a fun little project to do. I had a bit of a blast. Ooh. This project's actually taking three days uh, from the original to now. Due to the fact that I actually forgot to do this video. But the main thing that made me remember that it needed rehouse was the fact that the... Uh, yeah, the back came undone. So, I have probably 15 more of these. And, um... I think they'd make great tarantula enclosures. They look nice, they're pretty, they're aesthetically pleasing. Uh, if you had like a decent little monosotropus balfouri sling or a, a communal, you could definitely put them in here. I think it would look really cool and, you know, the lid's super easy. All I did was put tape over the holes. There's a bunch of ventilation holes in the top. I may end up adding ventilation holes in the side in the future. Uh, not entirely too sure though. So, 
as for now I think it looks good we'll see how he does inside of here um, I do plan on punching out the uh, ventilation holes that are around the tape I do have a I do have a way of doing that and yeah so in case anybody's worried about him getting stuck in the tape there's double-sided tape so there's tape on the top and there's tape on the bottom so there's no way he's gonna get stuck on any tape and as you guys see it was a smooth rehouse now as of for a minute ago when I was messing with my Afona Palma Samani the Costa Rican Zebra aka the Stripe Knee. Uh, yeah, she decided she was going to lose her mind for the very first time and take off and run all over my room. She went and hit my dresser, she ran up inside of it, she ran up my arm, she ran down my pant leg, she took off over to the bearded dragon, she went under the tank, I had to fish her out with a little, with a, um, with a snake hook that I have, and it was just a big fiasco for about 10 minutes, so that was definitely a first for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, don't worry, I have the styrofoam here as temporary because I'm going to put like newspaper or something up here. That way she can't see it and lose her mind constantly because bear in mind she is a predator and it is a bug and her natural instinct is to jump down. So, yeah, he's laying web. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later.